In recent years, we have successfully developed tools and implements for small-scale farmers in Burkina Faso in West Africa. Farms are small, mechanization is poorly developed, and the farm households suffer from chronic low income. Most farmers do all field work by hand. Some have access to oxen for tillage. We have focused on developing improved tools and implements for animal traction and using the mechanical advantage of the tools and implements to enhance the biological efficiency of the farming system. In our experience, improving animal traction is the best way to improve poor farmers' lives while sustaining the natural resource base. Agricultural mechanization is replacing human labor with tools, implements, and machines to reduce drudgery and improve labor productivity. Our work's overarching goal is to integrate mechanization in the farming system to enhance smallholder farmers' quality of life. Economic viability is, in all probability, the major constraint to the adoption of mechanized power units on small farms. Appropriate scale mechanization refers to technically, environmentally, economically, and socially relevant technology for smallholder farmers. Farmers evaluate new technologies in the context of the larger ecosystem and balance the net benefits of labor savings and greater crop yield with the potential impact on other activities such as off-farm employment. In countries where mechanization has taken hold, the development has been stepwise and incremental, making agriculture less labor-intensive and increasingly knowledge-intensive over time while improving the matchup between labor needs and the productive potential of the farming system. Appropriate scale technology needs to be attainable and affordable. In Burkina Faso, donkeys are widely used for transport and cattle are plentiful. About 29% of smallholder farmers use oxen for tillage, yet planting and weeding are primarily by hand. Farmers with oxen are privileged farmers because most farmers still do all field work with hand tools. Animal traction is a significant technological advance for farmers accustomed to working with hand tools. Many smallholder farmers keep cattle and donkeys, so the only cost to transition from hand tools to animal traction is the cost of time and training. Tractorization is the adoption of wheeled tractors as a source of tractive or draft power. Tractors must have clear benefits to compete with low-cost hand labor or animal power on small farms. As sources of tractive power, wheeled tractors and draft animals are largely interchangeable because farmers can easily adapt implements like planters and weeders to either power source. There are few implements for use with tractors in Burkina Faso. Only the disc plow is typical. In Burkina Faso, farms are small and farmland for expansion is scarce, so few farmers can use wheeled tractors profitably. For farmers with access to land and capital, tractorization can raise profits by enabling a larger crop volume on larger acreage. However, the simple act of substituting tractor power for animal power rarely leads to greater yields per unit of land than hand labor or animal power. Unless a tractor brings new ground into cultivation that hand labor or animal power cannot, the use of a tractor rarely results in a larger production volume on a fixed area of land. Simply substituting tractor power for animal power rarely increases crop yield per acre or hectare. There are many benefits of animal traction. In many areas, roads resemble nothing more than wide footpaths. Access for wheeled vehicles is challenging and at times impossible. 
Draft animals can navigate narrow trails and rugged terrain even in adverse weather. Wheeled tractors can damage the soil in poor field conditions. Draft animals are less damaging to wet soil than wheeled tractors. Relying solely on mechanized power increases the risk for smallholder farmers. Cattle reproduce and can be easily replaced with little capital outlay if they become disabled. Oxen increase in value as they grow and mature, so an ox can be sold for more than paid for. The sale of mature cattle is an essential source of farm income that mitigates risk. In Burkina Faso, the dry season extends from November until May. Feed supplies are usually exhausted by the end of the dry season and working animals are in poor condition for physically demanding field work. So draft animals can only work efficiently for a few hours each day. In areas infested by the tsetse fly, sleeping sickness, trypanosomiasis can render draft animals useless. The use of mixed or diverse power sources on the same farm is quite common. In Burkina Faso, planting and weeding are by hand, even if tractors till the soil. Donkeys are mainly for material transport, but small utility vehicles are common near urban areas. At harvest, custom threshers shell maize in return for a percentage of the crop. Still, Women mill and process grain by hand for family consumption to satisfy texture and taste preferences. Appropriate scale technology must be accessible to smallholder farmers. In Burkina Faso, mechanization is poorly developed and mechanical skills at the farm and village level are inadequate. The supply chain and infrastructure for acquiring equipment with timely access to replacement parts, service, and repairs are generally non-existent. There is a need to build the mechanical skills and abilities of farmers and technicians in Burkina Faso. This figure shows the fraction of populations living with less than $3 per day. Darker colors represent higher percentages. Burkina Faso is in the 70 to 80 percent range. Appropriate scale technology must be affordable and have clear benefits in the cropping system to compete with low cost hand labor on small farms. Mechanization substitutes capital for labor. The purchase of a new machine or implement represents a significant investment for small holder farmers. In Burkina Faso, even small, locally produced implements costing under $500 are substantial investments and beyond the reach of many farmers. Farmers evaluate machine investments based on the net benefit from all activities, including land, labor, capital, and the natural resource base. For instance, Will machine use provide an opportunity to reallocate labor to other productive activities to increase farm income and reduce risk? Can machine use reduce on-farm work and lead to more stable income from off-farm employment? Synergistic interactions add value and increase the net benefit of on-farm mechanization. Our farmer advisory group's highest locally defined priorities for innovation were the labor intensive tasks of land preparation, planting, weed control, and to build better tools for animal traction. Our approach is agroecological, a production system, not a simple technology. Machines are part of a broader system where ecological and social benefits are valued and sought after. Farmers are not just adopting introduced technologies, but are actively involved in setting research and development priorities and sharing the work results. 
Our goal is to offer a range of flexible options and a diverse set of technologies compatible with the local economic, social, and environmental conditions. Overcultivation and overgrazing have degraded soils in Burkina Faso. Crop yield response to inorganic commercial fertilizers is diminishing, and research has shown substantial yield benefits from combining inorganic fertilizers with organic nutrient sources such as manure and compost. Restoring and building soil fertility is a concern widely shared by smallholder farmers. Integrating crops and livestock on the farm returns organic matter and cycle crop nutrients to the cropping system. Forage crops extend the rotation and provide a vegetative cover to prevent soil loss. Integrating crop and livestock systems is an opportunity to build soil health. Livestock-based cropping systems improve soil fertility and crop yield by cycling nutrients from manure, compost, and cover crops. A 1,000 pound ox produces about 60 pounds of manure per day, more than 600 pounds of nitrogen and 400 pounds of phosphorus and other essential crop nutrients such as potassium, magnesium, sulfur, and organic matter annually. Sustainable cropping practices minimize soil disturbance, maintain a protective residue or vegetative cover on the soil surface, and add organic inputs for manure, compost, and cover crops. There is a lack of affordable animal drone conservation tillage tools in Burkina Faso. At the village level, artisans live among the farmers and understand their needs. We are training local blacksmiths to build animal drawn, soil conserving, strip tillage, planting, and weeding tools. The inline strip tiller provides targeted seedbed tillage and removes the need for intensive, full width plowing or disking. We designed an open web truss to replace an expensive solid steel main beam. A novel packer crumbler firms and levels the seedbed. The implement draft requirement fell from an average of 200 pounds force with plowing to less than 100 pounds force with strip tillage, with less than one half of the time needed for tillage. Strip tillage builds soil health by conserving soil moisture, reducing tillage intensity, and retaining a protective crop residue on the soil surface. Farmers widely rejected planters introduced in West Africa decades ago because of their high cost and poor performance. We trained local artisans to build a conservation planter featuring a low-cost seed plate drive mechanism, a furrow opener for residue clearing and consistent seed depth, and furrow closers and press wheels adapted for low disturbance, soil stabilizing, inline strip tillage. The mechanical advantage of the planter enhanced the biological efficiency of the maize crop. Compared to hand planting, the seeds were placed at a uniform depth and consistent spacing. Seeds germinated faster and emerged at a consistent rate. Side-by-side -side grain yield comparisons in farmer fields revealed a grain yield advantage for machine planting ranging from 50% to 150% compared to hand planting. Much of the yield increase was due to reduced seed loss to birds. Birds can easily find and steal seed that is hand planted, but they could not steal the machine planted seed because they could not find it. After one to two seasons of use, a group of women commented on the time and labor savings impact of the planter on their lives. They noted that a family of three with a team of oxen could accomplish the work of a hand planting crew of 15 to 20 laborers. One of the women said, Here, women and children do the planting. 
I worked with the planter and it was very easy to use. With the planter, it is much faster. Most women are involved in off-farm entrepreneurial activities to contribute to the family income. The women use the time saved with the planter to accomplish other domestic tasks, such as cooking, fetching water, childcare, and going to the market. They could divert time from subsistence farming and household chores to income generating activities such as processing shea butter or cashew nuts. Income from their off-farm enterprise funded children's schooling, food, and closing. Also, they saved money for unexpected expenses such as medical care and other family emergencies. Weed control requires either one or two row cultivations depending on the weed pressure. We designed an animal drawn row cultivator with low crown, low pitch sweeps. Compared to the locally used row cultivator, the new design improved cultivator stability, operator comfort, and weed control. The sweeps increased the effective root cutting width by 20% while reducing cultivator draft, which is the pulling force required by the oxen, by 21%. Again, farmers need technologies that are accessible, affordable, and appropriate. Animal power is relevant in Burkina Faso because farm income is low and modern machinery is unaffordable for subsistence farmers. Farm labor is readily available, land holdings are small, and farmland for expansion is scarce. There is 9 million head of cattle in Burkina Faso. They are plentiful, readily available, and reproduce, so an ox can be replaced with little capital outlay. The value of an ox appreciates as it grows and matures, so farmers can sell them for more than they paid for them. Sustainability is the fit between technology and the context in which it is used. In Burkina Faso, animal traction makes full use of locally available resources and enhances their efficiency and the resilience of the farming system. The United States Agency for International Development provided funding for this work through the Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Sustainable Intensification.